classified. Uh, I just want to show you this is a book that was written by uh, former Secretary of State Colin Powell. And uh, in his book, he says, uh, uh, to complement the official State Department computer in my office, I installed a laptop computer and uh, on a private line. My personal email account on the laptop allowed me to direct direct access to anyone online. So I started shooting emails to my principal assistants, to individual ambassadors, and increasingly to my foreign minister colleagues who, like me, were trying to bring their ministries into the 186,000 miles per second world. Were, were you aware of this, that, uh, that, that Secretary uh, Colin Powell actually had a private server as well? Not a private server. I think he used a commercial email account. <laughs> Uh, for State Department business. Private line. Unprotected. Right. Correct. Not a not a State Department email system. Right. Yeah. Right. He, he went rogue, so to speak. Right? I don't, I don't know if I'd say that. He, yeah, all right. Okay, I'm not going to put words in your mouth. Okay. But do you think this was careless uh, for him to do that? Just to start, you know, get his, own, he, he get his own system. He installed a laptop computer on a private line. My personal email account was on a laptop and allowed me direct access to, to anyone, anyone online. That's his own statement. I'm just I'm just trying to compare secretaries of state because Secretary Powell's never been here. Uh, matter of fact, uh, when we asked him for for his emails, uh, unlike the fifty five thousand that we received from Secretary Clinton, he said, "I don't have any to turn over." This is a quote. Uh, this was on ABC's uh, this week. He explained, I don't have any to turn over. I didn't keep a cache of them. I did not print them off. I do not have thousands of pages somewhere in my personal files. But uh, he was Secretary of State and he got, operated a, you know, a, a, on a private system. Were you aware of that? Yeah, not at the time, 15 years ago, but I am now. Yeah. Okay. So recently, well, back in October 2015, the State Department uh, sent Secretary Powell a letter requesting that he contact his email provider, AOL, to determine whether any of his emails are still on the unclassified systems. Uh, are, you, are you aware of that ongoing uh, investigation? I, I don't know of an investigation. I am well, that, that request for information from Secretary Powell, former yeah. Secretary. Yes, yes I am. You're aware of that. Uh, are, are you surprised that he has never responded? I don't know enough to comment. I, I don't know exactly what conversation he had with the State Department. All right. I'm trying to look at the, uh, you know, where we have a lot of comparisons in other cases. And uh, it seems like all the all the cases where prosecutions have gone forward, uh, the subject of the investigation has demonstrated a clear intent to deliver classified information to a person or persons who were unauthorized to receive that. So if you look at the, uh, you know, PFC uh, Bradley Manning, now Chelsea Manning, uh, that was a court martial, but uh, he demonstrated it, a, a clear intent to uh, publish uh, that information, which was classified. Julian Assange, uh, the WikiLeaks uh, 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 editor, I guess, and, and publisher, uh, again, uh, a wide and uh, deliberate attempt to, to publish classified information. General Petraeus, which we talked about earlier today, um, shared information with his biographer. Jeffrey Sterling, uh, sending stuff to the New York Times. A former CIA officer, Kiriakou, who, who uh, was interested in writing a book, so he, he uh, hung on to his information. And even former uh, director of the CIA, John Deutsch, who retained uh, classified information on a couple of servers, one in Belmont, Massachusetts, and one, one in uh, Bethesda, Maryland. Uh, and that was after he became a private citizen. So in all those cases, there's a clear intent. As you said before, you look at what people did and what they were thinking when they did that. And uh, I would just ask you, is there a clear distinction between what those people did and what Secretary Clinton uh, did in her case? In my view, yes. The Deutsch case illustrates it perfectly. And he took a huge amount of documents almost all at the TSSCI level, had them in a hard copy at his house, had them on an unclassed system connected to the internet, attempted to destroy some of them when he got caught,
admitted, I knew I wasn't supposed to be doing this. So you have clear intent, huge amounts of documents, obstruction of justice. Those are the kind of cases that get prosecuted. That's what I said when I, I meant it, when I said it. In my experience, which is three decades, no reasonable prosecutor would bring this case. I know that frustrates people, but that's, that's the way the law is, and that's the way the practice is of the Department of Justice. All right, thank, thank you for your testimony and for your service. I yield back. Thank the, thank the gentleman. We'll now go 